Hello, and thank you for listening to Evil Walks Among Us, Episode 2. We have been following Jeffrey Checker and the Demon Hunter Society, as they entered the old mill, in Dundee, Michigan. On this episode, we find out if a spirit in the basement has appeared on camera, and is making contact with a resident ghost hunter named Adam. Um, I can feel the hair on my thumb standing. Um, so if you have any of that, what she'll do is she might make a point once or twice, and then that's the last you'll see. The camera appears to capture a ghostly image of a woman, over Adam's right shoulder. The woman spirit seems to be standing near the opening into the next room, which is dark and foreboding. Hmm. Which is strange, but that's just what she does. I'm starting to wonder if there's something in the darkness right over there too as I'm talking to you. Sometimes there is. Um, you get things over here, right behind here, down this little long level. That's Eric. That's Eric. Well, this is weird too. I don't know if I have a thumbprint on my screen. But when I was moving from right to left. The camera playback is slowed down. The camera appears to capture a ghostly figure, walking towards the open doorway. Disappearing into the darkness. It was like, there's like a thumbprint showing up when I point at that camera, or at that dark spot. Oh, and I'm getting... I can't tell if it's matrixing or what's going on right now. Is there somebody over here? Hello? How's everybody? Good. How are you doing? Adam. Uh, Nate's. How's it going? Pleasure to meet you. We're big, we're big glass of color. Huge, huge. Denise is referring to the spirit Adam calls Marie. Of course you have. Too bad. Oh wow, that's a heavy form there right there. Right on the arm. That's what she does. This is Marie. I, I just seen the hair stand up on his arm. Did you? Is there something right there? Yeah. Oh, I There's something audible. But I knew it was in a feeble voice, but I think it was um, either a scratch or a knock. Or, not a knock, but something. There's something. It didn't sound like a voice, but there was something. Yeah, I felt you back here when he first came down. My wife said she saw a face over here. Right, so I, I saw it in the camera as a dark circular object that it would have picked up in the face, but she pointed it out as a face apparently. Jeff is drawn to this room, the same room that the camera captured a spirit walking towards and then disappearing. We're not here to bother you. We're here just to document your existence in this building. We don't plan on causing any harm or any trouble. 
So anything you can offer us for evidence would be greatly appreciated. Hold on, what's that right there? Right. And the fuel. So anything you can offer us for evidence would be greatly appreciated. Hold on, what's that right there? It's all right. It's all right. Show us its presence and that we were here to harvest the document. And as I was here, I was walking to life, looking through my camera like this, and I could almost swear I saw like a white apparition here crouching down, or it could have been the size of a child. And it was like clear as day. This is a pitch black, I just walked through there, I wanted nothing there, but it was glowing white in my camera. With the light behind me, I was walking the light. So, there is some uh, uh, right up here you can see some charcoal ash. Yeah. There's never been any true fires down here, but you can see the marks there. There's actually pieces of charcoal in the inside around that wall. Um, we've, you'll smell it occasionally. You're like, well, who's burning something? You come investigate and you don't find anything. You know, you don't see it, smell it, it, so it's the weirdest thing. So there's a mark there, there's a mark in the other room, and you can actually see some dirt. Almost, some charcoal. almost looks like the shape of the foot, you know, yeah, really. Yeah, you know, you extinguish it. Yeah, or trying to. Yeah. Like, it, like it pulled it to get it out. That's pretty but wild. It's like, you, in case you smell something later, you know, yeah. that's it. We, there's never, nobody's ever come down and trying to start a fire on purpose, you know, so. Right, sure. But it's, it's the wild when you catch that smell, you're like, it's so hold off on the fire department. Exactly, yeah. Oh. Fire. But we are fire. Thank you for listening to Evil Walks Among Us, Episode 2. In Episode 3, Jeff introduces us to another resident ghost hunter at the mill, Tim Rehan. Tim describes some very amazing supernatural incidents that occurred to him, and as well, the team sets up in the banquet hall of the mill, hoping to capture any evidence that will help support their theories. This has been a 777 production. Copyright 2022.